안녕하세요 풋볼 포레스트입니다 손흥민 선수의 토트넘 아스포가 이번 주말에 있었던 프리미어리그 8라운드 웨스템 유나이티드와의 경기에서 압도적인 경기력을 보여주면서 팀의 대승을 이끌었고 이번 경기를 통해 부상에서 복귀한 손흥민 선수는 시즌 3호 골을 장렬시키는 활약으로 토트넘 아스퍼의 이번 경기 대승을 이끌어낸과 동시에 부상에서 정말 완벽하게 부활하는 모습을 보여주면서 자신이 여전히 건재함을 각인시키는 활약을 펼쳤는데 손흥민 선수는 경기 후 인터뷰에서 팬들의 응원 소리가 정말 그리웠다면서 팬들에게 감사 인사를 전하는 근본의 인터뷰를 남겼습니다. 토트넘 아스퍼는 2024-25 시즌 프리미어리그 8라운드 경기에서 웨스템 유나이티드를 자신들의 홈 구장 토트넘 아스퍼 스타디움으로 불러들였었는데요 이번 경기에서 토트넘 아스퍼가 상대하는 웨스템 유나이티드는 지난 시즌 프리미어리그에서 14승 10무 14패로 리그 9위를 기록했던 주인권 팀으로서 객관적인 팀의 전력이나 성적만 봤을 때는 토트넘 아스퍼가 당연히 더 우수한 전력을 가진 팀이긴 하지만 토트넘 아스퍼는 지난 시즌 웨스템 유나이티드와의 두 번의 맞대결에서 1무 1패로 밀리는 성적을 기록했었기 때문에 하지만 토트넘 아스퍼는 최근 팀의 주장인 손흥민 선수가 부상에서 회복해 훈련에 참여를 했다는 상당히 긍정적인 소식이 전해지기도 했었는데 손흥민 선수는 이번 경기에서 곧바로 선발 라인업에 이름을 올리면서 부상에서 바로 복귀 전 경기를 치렀었는데요. 하지만 토트넘 아스퍼는 이번 경기에서 전반적 웨스템 유나이티드에 밀집된 수비를 뚫어낸 데 있어 다소 어려움을 겪으면서 고전하는 경기를 펼쳤는데 손흥민 선수 또한 전반전에는 수비수와의 1대1 상황에서 잘 제껴내거나 찬스를 만들지는 못했고 볼터치 미스로 인해 슈팅 각도를 스스로 잃어버리는 등 확실히 경기 감각에 대한 아쉬움이 느껴지는 경기를 펼쳤지만 손흥민 선수는 후반전이 되자 미쳐 날뛰기 시작했는데요. 토트넘 아스퍼는 52분 손흥민 선수의 기점 패스로부터 시작된 찬스를 이브 비수마 선수가 득점을 터뜨리면서 2대1의 스코어로 리드를 잡아냈는데 그리고 토트넘 아스퍼는 55분 대한 크루셉스키 선수와 패스를 주고받은 손흥민 선수의 슈팅이 굴절된 뒤 토디보 선수를 맞고 들어가면서 토트넘 아스퍼는 쉽지 않았던 이번 경기를 갑자기 3대1이라는 스코어로 상황을 바꾸었고 손흥민 선수는 60분 왼쪽 측면 공간에서 볼을 잡아 스텝 오버를 통해 수비를 녹인 뒤 왼발 슈팅을 가져갔고 이것이 골망을 그대로 갈라버리면서 손흥민 선수는 자신의 복귀 전 경기에서 바로 득점을 터트리는 정말 쾌조의 폼을 보여줬으며 후반전 토트넘 아스퍼의 3골에 모두 관여를 하는 그야말로 미친 존재감을 보여줬습니다. 손흥민 선수는 이번 경기에서 팀의 4골 중 3골에 직접적인 관여를 해냈기 때문에 프리미어리그 사무국에서 공식 선정한 매노보드 매체로도 선정이 되었고 오랜만에 부상 복귀전에서 바로 활약을 펼친 것인 만큼 이번 경기 승리는 팀적인 승리뿐만 아니라 손흥민 선수 개인에게도 깊은 승리와 득점이 아닐까 싶은데 손흥민 선수는 경기 후 인터뷰에서 팬들의 응원 소리가 정말 그리웠다면서 팬들에게 감사 인사를 전하는 근본의 인터뷰를 남겼습니다. Huge cheer there. They are so delighted to have you back. How good was it for you to be back? Yeah, to be back uh, on the pitch is always it's a joy, you know. It's uh, one of the things that I, I most love and uh, playing with the teammates uh, in a beautiful stadium is uh, one of uh, one of my favorite thing to do, especially when you get the, also the results. So yeah, today was fantastic. And Glenn was just saying he really feels Ange Postecoglou will have loved that performance. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, obviously, especially when we consider the first goal, he wasn't very happy because uh, he was uh, a lot of talking about uh, protect our goal like a, like a home. But we didn't when we conceded the first goal, so he was not happy about, which is I was not happy about. So, but general thing uh, uh, all together, I think I think the performance-wise, he was very very happy. So do I. What about the way you came out in the second half? Because it felt like the the sun show here in in the second half. You were involved in everything. I mean, uh, that's that's why I want I want to try every single single time. So um, yeah, when I get the ball, I try to best. Uh, Find a try to best uh, best solution, and I mean uh, this is uh, I'm just past the destiny. Destiny did, uh, destiny did the harder hardest job. So in uh, that run, I, I didn't expect to get the ball because uh, when I make make um, when I make these runs, even 50 meters, uh, Deki will have more spaces. Yeah. He can coming inside and shoot. And uh, yeah, I just made an effort. Some, sometimes you need an unselfish run as well. And, and the goal you scored as well. Just talk to us about how you created the space. Uh, I mean, uh, first of all, we have to talk about the win the ball from Pape and uh, make a great pass to me into the space. And then one-on-one -on -one situation, I'm very on it when most likely in this position, to be to be fair. And uh, especially when I'm on tempo, I think defenders always have to make a decision. So it's just making it difficult for him, you know, losing his uh, balance and body shape. So I think which is... Uh, I find the perfect timing. And you've got a, a huge crowd here as well, Sonny. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> How was the support today? I mean, uh, incredible. I've been missing for, for this support uh, for 
I mean, uh, three weeks I didn't go to the national team as well. I mean, uh, playing under these uh, amazing fans is a huge honor, but it takes uh, so much responsibility because I want to give them something back. Did you find that being out for a no one wants to be injured, but was it like a little reset for you? A little time to just, you know, and then feel today, I can't wait to get out there and play again. Yeah, sometimes you kind of, uh, you kind of obviously you don't want to get injured, as you said, but uh, I mean, the injury time is always, Always good because we had a, such a busy time, so traveling now with the national team as well. So, but the two weeks or three weeks, I was uh, was perfect uh, recharge myself and uh, just ready to go. I think today, I think I was feeling really, really good. So you look go. good. Yeah, yeah you, you look good. You, thank you. <laughs> Luckily, yeah. Les said once when you played for, for Newcastle's entertainers that as a forward player, it's like being in a in a sweet shop. What, what is it like for you <laughs> playing in this team under Ange Postecoglou, where it feels like entertainment is king? Yeah, sometimes it uh, looks like entertaining, but it's also a lot of pressure because you, you're expecting the winger and striker creating so many chances or goals. And uh, finally, you in the final third, you're getting in the position that if you made a bad pass or a bad decision, you just kiss the kiss the amazing situation, you know. Because, and uh, I think it's a lot of lot of joy, but also a lot of a uh, lot of pressure. But which is which is where where we we should be. With but, that with that entertainment that you talk, we, we we're just talking about. Do you feel like the way the, the team are playing at the moment that you have to score the goals? Because if you don't, the chances are you're going to give up a couple of chances <laughs> the other way. Uh, no, not unnecessary. It's it's just I think everybody can score like today. No, no, like no, 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 score. no, everybody can score. No, everybody, everybody can, can score because <laughs> I think it's, it's a very... Uh, everybody is just working hard in the and being in the right position. I think the goals, because I think everybody has uh, that, that smells, but uh, being in the right position, I think is the most important thing. So, yeah, which is which is entertaining is uh, really good, but I think the most important thing is also the, the results, So you know, so which is really today. Mm. How is the fitness now, side of the UK? I mean, listen, the way you were running about today, you didn't look like you were struggling, I'll be honest. How, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. Two weeks uh, rehab was, was good, so I hope so. Uh, never get injured again. <laughs> and we're back here on Thursday, AZ Alkmo in, in the Europa League. Two wins out of two so far. Are you really seeing this as a, a good opportunity to, to deliver that trophy? I mean, the, every competition for me, I think, as a, as, a, as maybe it's, this, uh, this is like a book answer, maybe this uh, just normal answer. But uh, for me, uh, I'm 32, sadly. But uh, <laughs> for me, every single game is like a goal that I want to take it really serious and because the games uh, when I pass, it's, it's never. I know it's uh, it's never co going to come back, you know. So every single game is for me is a goal. I want to take it seriously, and I want to take it like uh, my last game of my career. So um, yeah, look, I mean Thursday is going to be another game that we are looking for uh, here, and uh, yeah, I hope, uh, I hope we can make a, another entertaining game and get also good results. 라면서 역시 손민 선수다운 자신의 득점의 퀄리티에 대한 이야기보다는. 동료 선수들의 좋은 플레이 덕에 득점할 수 있었다는 겸손과 함께 팬들에게 감사함을 전하는 인터뷰를 남겼습니다. 정말 손흥민 선수는 실력도 실력이지만 인성적인 부분에 있어서도 많은 팬들과 선수들에게 귀감이 되는 선수란 생각이 드는데요. 앞으로도 손흥민 선수가 좋은 활약으로 많은 팬들에게 보답하는 활약을 펼쳐줬으면 좋겠습니다. 아무튼 오늘 영상은 여기까지고요. 영상 재밌게 보셨다면 구독과 좋아요 그리고 댓글 부탁드립니다. 감사합니다.